So as you can see, the mixer steering feature has just been removed. So to get around this, what we're going to do is go down to the store, open that up, hit Y to search, type in Twitch, and install that. Should come straight up right there. That's what you want. Install. Let that download. Okay, so once it's installed, we're just going to go into it. Give it a minute to open. Alright, so once we're in, we're going to go up to sign in. It's going to give us the code. So with this code, what we want to do is go onto a mobile device like a PC or a phone. And we're going to go to a website called twitch.tv slash activate. That will bring us to this page and we're going to copy this code that's displayed on the screen for the Xbox. And it will ask us to log in. So we just do that. Now it will say authorize. Hit that. And it will bring you to this page so we can just close out of this now. And if you look on our Xbox, we're now signed into Twitch, which is what we want. So now if we go over to the broadcast tab, it will give us a bunch of options so we can change a few different things in here. What you want to probably set is uh, have party chat on so you, everyone can hear your friends. Also going to have game audio probably a bit lower than that, a bit lower than the party. And I would set bit rate to automatic and this will test your internet speed to see what bit rate you can actually handle the stream at. So because we're streaming to YouTube as well, I would suggest that you halve whatever number is being put into here. So 6,500 for me, which is the max, I'm going to set it to 3,200 just because I am streaming to two places and I want to have enough bandwidth left over for that. And I probably don't want to stream at 1080p either if it's uh, that low of a bit rate. So yeah, what you want to do is just put in your stream title, test stream will do, we start stream. Alright, we should be live, so if we switch to a game, let's just go for Minecraft here. Alright, so there we go, we're in the menus now for the game, and it looks like the stream is up and running, so if we go to twitch.tv slash this uh, channel, like whatever your username is, we should see we have the game screen right here. And we'll have audio and all that working fine. So you could choose something like OBS or a screen recorder to send this to YouTube or you could even use the old method from the last video which is much better. But we're going to be doing it from mobile so if we open up the Play Store on our phone. So on our phone we're just going to open up the Play Store. We're going to go to search and we're going to type in Twitch. Install Twitch. That's installed. And we're also going to make sure we have the uh, latest version of YouTube here. So type in YouTube and update the YouTube app. So once we're in the YouTube app, we're going to go to the little button at the top right here. Once you hit that, there'll be a little option to go live. And once you hit go live, it's going to give you a menu, which basically lets you choose your title, do a bunch of things like that. You want to select the option to record your screen. And then once you actually press go live, you want to switch back to the Twitch app. So let's say this was your stream right here. You'd load this up, you'd set it to full screen, and I'd even say turn on a do not disturb right there. So that way you don't get a bunch of messages popping up because people are going to see the whole screen of your phone during this. But you, you might even have to have like the actual sound for your phone on for the audio to get captured. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but everything should go through all right. Otherwise, there are other streaming apps you can use, like aside from the built-in YouTube one, you can use Streamlabs, there's a few different things. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new here, and uh, I hope I catch you in the next video. See ya.